Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Jeep Compass, Jeep Patriot or Dodge Dart guys. What's common between those? The transmission that they use, this six-speed automatic transmission. If you want to know what are the symptoms of bad torque converter, how it can affect your transmission, your car, stay with us, we'll explain that today. And one simple mistake people make okay by not changing their transmission fluid stay with us we'll explain uh, why you need to change it and sometimes you need to change it up to three times all that will be covered in this video today before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this absolutely free information to you now uh, if you guys need to Money, parts, tools, transmission fluid, solenoids, anything to fix your car for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So, with that being said, that's the transmission. That's the valve body. We remove the oil pan, we drain the transmission fluid, remove the oil pan, remove the valve body with the shifter solenoids. This is the transmission on the inside. You have the clutches here, the output, input speed sensors. Um, very, very uh, easy design, guys. That transmission easy to work on. We have videos how to replace shifter solenoids, valve body, oil pan, gasket, all that stuff. But check out the transmission fluid, it's nasty guys, okay, it's nasty, you can see the circles that are forming when I stir it, okay, this is actually contamination and deposits from tear and wear inside, you know, you have the clutches are constantly moving, releasing, so you will have some wear, um, bearings as well, metal shavings, and you can see some on the oil drain pack as well. And uh, it's very important to change the transmission fluid because it will lose its lubricating properties. It will not lubricate correctly. Plus, you will have the dust from the clutches and stuff that can actually build up and uh, clog up your valve body or solenoids. In addition, uh, that uh, dust turns into kind of like a uh, like a paste that will eventually eat the moving parts, the metal parts, faster. So it's important to change it quite often. We'll put. Uh, the video on the channel will have a video that will explain how often you need to change the transmission fluid on Jeep Compass, Jeep Patriot and Dodge Dart and why in some cases guys you need to change it up to three times all that will be in the video please check it out but the symptoms of bad torque converter now the torque converter is between the transmission and the engine right here so if you look at it this is the flywheel uh, on the other side of the flywheel practically the torque converter and the flywheel is one thing uh, but uh, that flywheel guys okay it's right here the torque converter is right there uh, if the torque converter goes bad usually okay in some cases you may have the symptoms but it may not be a bad torque converter make sure it's until the end i'll explain what i'm talking about but if torque converter goes bad usually you experience vibrations shudder also known as transmission shudder uh, shaking as well when the torque converter engages or torque converter not engaging at all which means that you will drive down the highway at higher, higher rpms usually and that can cause your uh, um, your fuel consumption to suffer as well your car will be using more fuel because the engine will be spinning at higher rpms but shutter vibrations and sometimes if you stop at a stoplight traffic light and it looks like the automatic transmission is kind of like manual transmission stuck in gear and kills the engine it could be from a torque converter that does not release and in some cases it could be bad torque converter in some cases it could be a bad solenoid for the torque converter we, for instance you have a special solenoid that activates the torque converter could be bad valve body or it could be the wrong type of transmission fluid or not having too much uh, fluid or not ha or having too much fluid not having enough fluid or having too much fluid can affect it as well always use original fluid because that can seriously affect torque converters we had a customer that had a mazda uh, suv they put transmission fluid that wasn't original the, the car developed uh, all, almost all the symptoms for bad torque converter shattering vibrations shutter was terrible vibrations when it engages and <coughs> all we did uh, forge the transmission three times and it fixed it all the way we use the shutter fix as well this is amazing additive uh, you can check out the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from but it's uh, it's pretty cool additive that can fix sometimes torque converters as well so always make sure you have enough oil make sure it's not too much make sure it's clean make sure it's original oil as well for your transmission and if you want to see how to replace or clean torque converter solenoid that will be for the transmission shifter solenoid 
uh, video will be on the channel. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.